lost two tourists who had uh, flown in the previous day to visit Queen Elizabeth. They were on a honeymoon. Uh, unfortunately, they were ambushed uh, by some wrong elements uh, who shot at them and killed them instantly together with their Ugandan driver and uh, tour guide. But Uganda Wildlife Authority, working with the police of Uganda, working with the Uganda People's Defense Forces, have the capacity to ensure that there is security and we will close all the gaps that have been uh, there to ensure that uh, there is no more uh, ambushes that are made on our tourists. We have already been discussing here to one, um, intensify the patrols on all our roads, two, to escort our visitors when they come uh, so that they are protected. Ghanaians should remain assured that the, their security will be guaranteed. Our visitors from abroad should also continue coming because, uh, again, uh, I can assure them that security will be guaranteed. But the security of these tourists is it's going to be so difficult. I have very classic, classic soldiers, very good fighters. As for the ordinary UPDF deployment, I would really propose it fully. Because what I would have to do as in the mountain division, I would call my division intelligence officer, go with the brigade commander and see where we can deploy one or two detachments. But if you are going to speak about fishing villages, I would be happy if the marines undertake that. They will do both. They undertake their marine roles and also provide security. And this is also related to police. Because if we are going to have UPDF marine in one village, then we should have police marine in the second village. From my division, we can afford to do some few soldiers to, to, to help <coughs> <laughs> to beat them. <laughs> but these are soldiers who have 